Hello, my name is David Doucette and in today's video tip, I'm going to discuss your first seven steps on your final road of licensure. Now, step one is to download and read NCARB's publication, NCARB and You. This publication includes an overview of NCARB's role in the process, including education, internship, examination, and certification. If you're new to this process, this is a fantastic place to start. Now, step two is to download and read NCARB's certification guidelines, which were updated in July of 2014. It describes the requirements for NCARB certification for US, Canadian, and foreign architects. Step three is to download and read NCARB's ARE guidelines, which were updated October 2014. This document includes an overview of the exam divisions, exam programs, exam eligibility, and steps to taking and completing the ARE. Step four is to review NCARB's Intern Development Program, or IDP, to find out more information about the requirements you need to complete IDP. Now, it generally takes about three years of full-time work to successfully complete the IDP program, but of course, individual results may vary. Step five is to review NCARB's Registration Board Licensing Requirements webpage to check your own state board's licensing requirements because each jurisdiction may have slightly different rules. You'll find information for both initial licensing requirements as well as reciprocity requirements, so be sure to check with your state that you are obtaining your registration in. Step number six is to be sure and check NCARB's ARE eligibility by jurisdiction page. Many state boards allow you to begin taking the ARE before completing the intern development program. This process is often referred to as concurrent completion of IDP and ARE. So be sure to check out your state board requirements because you may be able to begin taking the ARE sooner than you think. And finally, step seven, establish your NCARB record. You must have an NCARB record to complete the intern development program, the architect registration exam, or apply for the NCARB certificate. Now also go ahead and put a link below this video to each of the documents I mentioned. And if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead, click the link below and head over to our website, architectexamprep.com, and you'll see the links there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video, so go ahead, leave me a comment below. My name is David Doucette, and thanks for checking out today's video tip.